Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another quick video for you all. This is a DIY type spot welder. I got this for review. And this is a board type spot welder which has eight built-in MOSFETs. On the top you have the branding, that's the BIFRC. You have a small button. Along with that you also have an LED indicator. Uh, it takes input from the XC60 connector. So this is actually a boat type spot welder where you have to uh, solder the leads. You get the leads and the XC60 connector separately. And if you see at the back, uh, the wires are soldered separately. Along with that, you also get a capacitor. Even that is something that you have to solder. Only if we ha if it had the uh, bolt type connection, it would have been perfect. So along with that, you also get this uh, spot welding tips where you have to heat shrink it. The only drawback that I found was that this takes input from XC60 connector, which means that you have to solder uh, wires, everything separately. But this one actually has eight MOSFETs. So which means that eight MOSFETs means more power. So this is actually uh, my third spot welder. Uh, prior to this, I have bought certain other spot welders. So this is the last one that I had reviewed, which has five MOSFETs. If you haven't checked this video out, go check that out. Uh, this one actually uh, is a bolt type system where you get the tips and all that. You have to solder only the capacitor. So the link to the video would be on the top. The other one is also this one. Uh, even this one is a spot welder where we have to do a little mod. It comes with all the neat casing as well as a small display to control the current and all that. I actually fixed the fixed this spot welder. The video is on the top. Go check that out. So these are the spot welders that I have so far. And one of the most famous one was the BIFRC one. Uh, many people were saying that this is uh, this works rock solid. So I wanted to test that out. That is the reason why I got this one. So this one actually takes the input as 6060. So what I did was uh, I built a wire uh, and I connected the XCC connector. This is my Amaron 55H uh, car battery. So this is a brand new battery actually guys. I keep it in float always. So the connections are done. Uh, so directly uh, that's the XC60 uh, mail and directly gets connected to the board. As soon as you connected the light blinks, it actually stays at the last uh, selected mode. And on the top you have a small blinking light as well, which indicates the pulses for the spot weld. So whenever it blinks, it spot welds. That's, that's what it is. And you have to use that button to toggle between each settings. So the red color is the first one. This actually has seven modes. Uh, this is the green one. This is the next mode. Uh, you have the blue one. That's the third white. Then you have yellow, purple. You have uh, blue as well. So it, this actually indicates the, uh, the power of the spot weld. So let's do a quick testing. I'm actually going to do it on uh, my old 18650 battery. This is lightly dented. So that's the reason why I'm using this out. So before we could do it on the battery, let's try spot welding it on a plain nickel strip. So I have got the old uh, UPS battery. Uh, the battery is quite dead. So let's start with level one. So red color is level one. You just have to hold the tip. So whenever the light blinks, that's when you get the pulse. So that's level one. Let's go to level two, which is in the green color. I should have actually heat shrink the wires. I haven't done that. I'll do it at a later stage. So that's level two. So the blue is level three. We just have to hold it together and it will spot weld. So that's level three. So that's the level three. So we have four more words to go. So this is white color. So that's level four. 
so from level 4 onwards it's quite uh, powerful guys if you see it actually strips the nickel strip itself it, it puts a hole into it uh, the mosfets are quite a little hot to touch and also the wire that i'm using from the battery to the uh, to the board is quite thin i'm actually using a 4.5 square mm wire so that's pr that's pretty less uh, but does it work done easily so that's level five and if you see even that strips that hole out i'm just quickly showing you each power levels so level four and level five do leave a hole if you see level five has a little bigger hole than the level four so let's go to the purple one that's level six So level 6 actually, uh, it's quite powerful. And if you see the battery is being melted on the top. And if you see this one actually punctures hole on the, both the ends. So the, the way it controls is based on the pulses. So the duration of pulse increases as the level increases. The current remains the same just that the pulse duration changes. So level 2 and level 3 are good, uh, which should work from level 4 onwards it's little overpowering for this particular strip so it puts holes into it the only reason why i bought this is because this can actually even spot weld 2 mm nickel strip none of the cheap spot welder would do it but this one actually does because of the car battery that i'm using as well as it uses eight mosfets so that's the last level uh, the light blue so let's try welding that as well but what I'm going to do is instead of just directly welding it, let me put another uh, nickel strip on the top and then I'll spot weld it. So that's the 1.0.15mm uh, nickel strip uh, that is going on the top. So ideally, uh, it's actually welding it uh, a 3mm strip. So even that gets spot weld quite well. And uh, if you see it from the, or the back as well, it did uh, push through properly. So if I try pulling it out, it does not come out quite easily. So it is quite strong. So it is quite strong. So this one would be good. This one is great. And you could certainly buy this one. So now let's try uh, spot welding it on the battery. Now I did test that out multiple times before that. I can easily pull this out now. I just want to check whether those MOSFETs are getting hot, but that's fine. It's not getting that hot. And if you see, I could peel it out and uh, it actually strips out the nickel strip as well. Another thing, guys, whenever you spot well, you got to make sure that you do not have any uh, strips already attached to it. If there are, you have to send that out because if that's the case, it will not spot well correctly. So I did do a four spot weld on it. Even that has stripped out quite well. And if you see there are lots of uh, small pieces of nickel strip that are already solid welded to it. Now this side is pretty clean so I'm gonna spot weld on this side as well just to show you how good it is. So if the surface is clean, if it, if it doesn't have any uh, pre-existing um, strips it should it should spot well quite well so if you see i would not be able to peel this out or 
overall guys i am pretty satisfied with it i can certainly recommend uh if you're looking in for a spot welder uh you could certainly buy it uh i leave a link in the description below uh from where i bought this this was from banggood uh however you can also check robu.in even robu has it so check that out guys So I just want to show you the nickel strip again, uh, where we did the spot well, just to just as a reference of the uh, lab powers. The first one is level one, then level two, level three, four, five, six, and then the level seven is where I uh, spot welded uh, by folding a nickel strip and then uh, keeping another nickel strip on the top. Ideally, it's a three mm uh, spot welding. Even that went through perfectly so so that's one uh two and three so i wouldn't be able to peel this out overall i'm pretty satisfied with it and i could certainly recommend uh people to buy this if you like this video do give it a thumbs up let me just uh, remove this off the only disadvantage here is that it's a board type and also uh the wires are soldered which means that there might be possibility that it the solder may come out easily so that's the only disadvantage but apart from that this is surely a good buy uh thank you so much for watching and if you like my content do give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or suggestions do leave it in the comment section below thank you so much